why Tell me baby why don't you stay I just got a few things to say I just hope you Because the way Fury Road them set up one part of the road which part you have to walk past to reach part which part you turn up in front of the house one like more as one patrol but the patrol big <laughs> the patrol big so till you come like one pan and like all of the dirty water rushing at it from when the rain falls so I want dirty swamp water the lesser and it go around from the whole of the roadside and in order to avoid it you have to walk in the grass but if you walk in the grass a mud slide you have to stand up in a, so you, you can't win so you either take the dirty water or you take the mud and somehow him not have no dirty water and him not have no mud on his shoes and I want to know how he reach over it a flying fly me did it and me I watch him and he said, well, you know, I did ask you another week if you did like movies and there's something there and you don't really want a response to me and then you finally turn around and say yes and you say, I'm asking if you like Shabala, I say yes and you say yes and um, you know, say look more to me after that, I say, well, I have some movie for you if you watch and you can't laugh more, if I have a little chocolate, you understand when he said chocolate on the backside, I say, I, I say, I lost it till a week. I said, this big old hunk of dunk piece of truck can't talk about chocolate. I said, no. It's a no from me, sis. It's a no from me. <laughs> it's a no from me. This guy, <clears throat> this guy stood there and said to me, I've got some shibada for you. I said, oh. And he said, I'm so she bought me no say like she bought I'm also delta to cold water too. So you can go check them out and laugh. You know, come and say like you like them something. I'm also other movie in there too. You can watch with funny and some gangster type shit and some romantic comedy and so you know me like my genre them mix up mix it up all the time. You know, me I look Mr. Romantic, me say me, Mr. Stalker. Anyway, in the day, in the day, and in go on to tell. By the way, this is the third red flag. The first was when he meet me at a bus stop. The second was when he finally get my number. The third was when he turned up at my house and I hand me back. The boy I walk with one black scandal bag, yeah? And he, and he bag. Black scandal bag are like Tesco bag. So black scandal bag comes so, yeah, but yeah, he big. And he have a bag and the bag look heavy in the backside. Like say, if he move the wrong way, the bag of a bus. So I look at him and say, I'm a honey con him. I said, I don't want that. I don't know what it is. He said, I did it like this. I don't want it. He said, just take the man and then you can watch the man. If you don't want them, you can give them back to me. You can dash them up to you. You can keep them, whatever. Now go ahead and talk. I still have that bag of DVDs, but I haven't got the, I haven't got the scandal bag anymore. But I've thrown it away. But I still got the DVDs. I'm going to hold you. I ain't got, I still have them DVDs. And I did chuckle. <laughs> What kind of movie in the bag and home? I got chocolate, I got this, I'm that. And they say you can't enjoy it, you can't tell me all you like them or whatever. I can't cast some more corn. Give him a seven away if it's come back on my yard. I don't know who send you come up here. Look, he must take you, but don't come back up here. And in the day, I'm not talking, I care. And he finally give me the bag again. I said, I don't want it. He said, just please don't take the bag, man. So I finally take the bag. So see me, and see me. I take the bag. I saw me, I hold it back. Oh, Mr. Tanks. And he say, all right, Mr. Yes. Are we finished? He said, I guess so. I said, all right, then bye. And I saw me turn around on me heel, then I'm going back in my house, I'm going sit down. And I have to look on the bag and I say, that boy ain't easy, no God. The boy don't easy. And like I said, I still have the bag of DVD, so thanks for the chocolate, Roy. <laughs> then I leave Jamaica, come to England. I didn't know if I was going to go back or if I was going to stay here. But I end up staying here and this boy find me put all of my social media. Don't know him find it, but him find it. Anyway, him find me and he start coming for me. Picture them. My new me at this point, I don't long I no longer live in Jamaica. Yeah, I live in the UK at this point. This boy is texting me on Facebook. I'm thinking, who is this? Cause the picture did not look like him. These times my Facebook was open. I didn't have to change the settings so people couldn't comment all that crap. I struggled so hard to try and figure it out. I'm not gonna hold you guys, I really did. Anyway, <clears throat> when I finally figured out who it was, it was a bit like, I think it might have been maybe 15, maybe 20 comments too late. Um, he's messaged me under every single picture 
that was recently posted some of the old stuff some of the new stuff and there was a picture that I had in um, my uncle's baby mum's back garden in her old house and um, I'm posed up like this cuck up my body and everything and I thought I was cute and I really had like back off and a half back off and a half don't ask those are the days and I so don't want to relive them but anyways underneath the picture this guy is talking the wickedest like him and my friends are going back and forth they're like how are you talking like who are you x y and z man he was commenting and I was like why are you commenting underneath my picture like how how do you even get my social media now they've they've clocked on because I've basically explained the story to them like when I got back and everything I was like oh this was a funny situation blah blah, blah. but I, I'm there saying it's funny because it's no longer happening oh lies he started posting shit underneath my thing so when they clocked on to who it was I didn't even have to say nothing too tough and they were like oh if this is the prick this is the stalker okay though we got you so obviously they're talking now and um this was Romario and um, <clears throat> I think it might have been Shari. I think it might have been them two to be fair against this one boy. Like, I don't know what was wrong with him, but Deborah was on some shit that day. He was going off. And I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> Romario came in and he's like, D -d 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 -d. Shari was like, D -d 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 -d. I was like, whoa, hey now, wait a minute. And I'm like, I'm there the whole time. I'm trying to find a way to delete this guy, the, um, his comments and stuff, and like try and calm the situation down. So I'm there trying to call um, Romario on the phone, and I'm still trying to figure out how the hell to delete, um, like change my settings so he can't um, access my pictures and stuff and whatever. Uh, till this day, I don't even know if I was able to block him, but I knew I was able to stop him commenting. So um, I changed my pri my profile settings. So I was like, no way. This is not happening. And I literally was, I was sat there, I was like, I left a whole country and moved back to another one and you're still here on my pigtail. For why? I couldn't believe it. But anyways, he was there, he was talking, he was doing the most. Like Romario and that lot were kicking off at him. He was kicking off at them and I'm like, oh my God, this is not good. Like, I have family members on this shit. Like, who has time for this BS? Anyway, I finally got rid of him. Somehow he still managed to inbox me and he's like, why are you gonna um, delete my messages, uh, my comments and stuff like that? I was like, because you're out of order, first and foremost. Second is, how the hell did you find me? Because I have no mutual friends with you. None, zilch, nada. I didn't even use, like, all my governments for me to make a Facebook. So why? Why are you here? How are you here? Like, I left your ass in Jamaica. Why have you now followed me back to the freaking UK? How? And he, oh, I said, you know what? Leave me alone. And he kept on messaging, kept on messaging, kept on messaging. I refused to answer any of them. And it got to a point where he, I feel like he just gave up. He literally, genuinely gave up. And um, out of the blue, he started messaging again. I'm thinking, really, nigga? At this point, I became a bit more tech savvy and I figured out how to block a nigga. So I was able to block his ass on Facebook but I think he found me on, um, he found me on something else. I think he might have been messaging me through one of my friends or my cousin's Facebook page and said, why did you block me, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, this, that, and the third. I was like, really? I ain't even gonna reply to that. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see it. I ain't see shit, so it ain't shit. That was me. And I kid you not, I was so gobsmacked. It went from zero to 100 real quick in the comment section. It was ridiculous. I could not believe it. Sis, if you see a red flag, don't dilly dally. Get rid of that. Burn it, okay? Burn it. There ain't no illegal activity for you to burn a red flag, okay? There ain't. So, <clears throat> that was my story, guys. My throat is a little bit parched. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know how this is gonna go when it comes to editing, but we're gonna figure this shit out, okay? We're gonna figure it out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I hope you found it entertaining, the fact that I was able to switch between two dialects, and then you guys let me know how you guys like this type of video, if you want me to keep it straight English, or 95% English and 5% Patois, then you know, let me know. But this was trial and error to see if you guys like it or not, but that was a time where my stalker, traveled well <laughs> followed me all the way from jamaica to the uk 
but that's it from me guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the bell to be notified every single time i post a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one stay beautiful and i'm out te amo ratimos tell me baby why don't you stay i just got a few things to say i just hope you